Well, 343 just released a blog detailing the playlist update coming in for September, justifying the removal of Last Spartan Standing and the Yapping Stays, and they also rank out the most popular modes in Halo Infinite. I think it's worth checking out. Well, the first thing that they mentioned in this September playlist update that's coming in this Tuesday, guys, is that the Yappening will stay in, saying the Yappening BTP shenanigans will continue and will be rotating out the dedicated land grab playlist. So you'll have BTB and the Yappening BTB, which will probably be listed as Fiesta BTB. As covered in a previous video, that the Yappening actually provided a significant population boost to Halo Infinite. This is the first time I've seen like a LTM or an event just in general for Halo Infinite actually bring more people into the game and a significant amount where it's like, hey, maybe we should do that again and keep that momentum going. While I do enjoy the land grab playlist, I think having it be its own separate thing is good for like the entrenched thing, which they talk about within this blog, but it probably shouldn't be like its own separate playlist. On this blog, they also talk about the playlist fundamentals and basically talk about their goals and ideas of what to accomplish with these playlist updates and why the updates and removals of things. They actually provide context about Last Spartan Standing being removed, which I didn't like seeing that happen, but it said Last Spartan Standing accounted for less than 1% of all players' activity despite being also some of the players' most favorite modes. So a lot of people on Twitter and also on social media, I'm sure, including myself actually, were saying it's one of my more favorite modes within the game, but less than 1% of you guys were playing it. So, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. Really cool information, they provided a playlist ranking of the most popular to least popular. Now, before I tell you this, guys, I wanna see what you think the top three most popular playlists are in Halo Infinite right now. Leave a comment down below. I definitely wanna see what your guys' thoughts are when it comes to the most popular modes in the game. I certainly have my thoughts. For most popular modes, I expect Team Slayer to be number one, Fiesta number two, Big Team Battle number three, Quick Play number four, then Ranked Arena, Tactical Slayer, Team Doubles, Ranked Doubles, Team Snipers, Land Grab, Rumble Pit, and then Bot Bootcamp being at the bottom. But let's see what the actual list is. They say that this is the place over the past month of players' activities and an interesting list here to say the least. Let me zoom out a little bit so we get the whole thing in one. Number one, Quick Play. I never would have thought Quick Play was the most popular mode in Halo Infinite. No, actually, I was kind of surprised. Ranked Arena is number two, which is pretty awesome as well. I do love playing Ranked Halo Infinite. It's probably my favorite mode to play. I'm glad to say that actually is number two. Number three is Fiesta. Four is Team Slayer. Then five, Big Team Battle, Tactical Slayer, Land Grab, Team Double, Ranked Team Doubles, then Doubles, Team Snipers, Rumble Pit, and Bot Boot Camp. So it's funny to see that so many people were upset about Team Slayer not being there at the launch of the game, myself included, but then it ended up being only the fourth most played mode in Halo Infinite. I remember Fiesta being super popular back in Halo 5, so I figured that wouldn't be a help rather high. Rumble Pit, I'm sure my surprise for you for the free-for-all plays being rather low. Free-for-all has always been kind of low in the population list when it comes to Halo Inf Halo's population in general. Uh, this is very much true when it came to Halo 5 as well. Free for all is always kind of the lower end of things. But 343 provides some interesting analytics about the Yappening. That the Yappening playlist has been the overwhelming favorite playlist, nearly four times as popular as the number two playlist. That means four times the amount of people are actually playing the Yappening over ranked arena, which I think kind of showcases something about the, something a little something here to Halo and 343 in general that once you kind of feed into the social aspects of Halo and kind of bring in the party game aspects, which is sorely missing from this game, put that into Halo, people will love it. And they overwhelmingly have. You can see now in the infamous Steam chart when it comes to population, like, yeah, we still haven't seen like a huge bump, but you see this little bump right here? That's the happening right there. Like I said, this is the first time I've been, you know, I've been paying attention to these population playlists and see what these events do. And this is the first time I've seen an actual like small event like we're having here for the happening actually bring more people back into the game, which is great to see. And it's great to see that 343 is listening to the community, taking the data, returning the feedback from us and saying, hey, yeah, we're gonna keep the happening in there because you guys seem to really enjoy it. But then this kind of creates an issue, right? We have the BTB social, and then we have regular BTB. What's gonna happen with that? Well, Fever 3 does address this as well within this blog, so I think we would dive back into it. Then the Yappening officially ends on Tuesday, but September 20th, the new social BTB playlist will be. So that's basically the Yappening playlist 
social BTP players, but this also means there'll be another BTP players of just regular big team battle. Saying that the Yapani has been a huge success in terms of popularity and engagement, but we've also seen the core BTP players activity significantly decline in a shadow. And they say they will continue to monitor, see how players experience with it overall. So they make it sound like, oh my God, is BTP gonna be taken out of Halo Infinite? I don't expect to see that anytime soon. I think just that since it's like the first like real like LTM that we've had within Halo, that's actually kind of like a fun kind of casual experience that really changes up the gameplay experience where it's not so serious all the time it's actually just more focused on the fun rather than like getting high scores and i'm sure once the btp social plays i'm sure it'll cover out a little bit of a niche within the community but i think you'll see that population kind of swing back over to regular btp as well again let's just keep monitoring and see where it lands we had this happen in Halo 5 and both players seem to do just fine when it comes to population, though regular BTP did get rather low population towards the end of Halo 5. Now that we know that land grab is going to be kicked out of the playlist options, what's going to be available for us? Well, all you land grab fans will certainly know what's going to happen here. So like I said, a dedicated playlist will be taken out of matchmaking here, sadly. Though, they do say that land grab will be back as part of the entrenched event with week five kicking off on September 27th and the final week slated for October 25th. Looking further ahead, land grab will then roll into the quick play playlist as part of the winter update come around on November 8th. So all you land grab fans, you'll have your outlets to jump in and still get a chance to play that, which is gonna be great. I just love having that much variety within the quick play playlist. Might be the reason why it's the most popular one in Halo Infinite. We recently received some information about when you will be receiving the Gladiator's Edge, AKA the diamond coatings for your Spartan, as well as other weapons in this video right here. And if you guys wanna check out some more of the Yapping content, my thoughts on it, and also by Halo Infinite in general, the state of the game, check out this video up here. Thank you very much for watching, greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.